Hang fiber on life ekwa shaka boom karna Aditya 200 Mbps speed deka ke Sri Lanka ve vegavatma saha pulultama home broadband sambandhata ve vana SLT Mobitel deshe fiber bala vege samagin obat atvidinna Dang fiber on life ekwa shaka boom karna Aditya 200 Mbps speed deka ke Sri Lanka ve vegavatma saha तम होम ब्रॉडबैंड संबंधता वे बने एसएलटी मोबिटेल देशे फाइव बाल वे के समग्र ओपन अत्विदिन्न दैंग फाइबर ऑन लाइफ एक बस शाका बूम करना आदित्य 200 एमबीपीएस स्पीड देखा कि श्रीलंका वे वेगवत में सहा पुलुल तम होम ब्रॉडबैंड संबंधता वे बने एसएलटी मोबिटेल देशे फाइव बाल वे के समग्र ओपन अत्विद Dang fiber on life ekwa shaka boom karna Aditya 200 Mbps speed deka ke Sri Lanka ve vegavatma saha pulultama home broadband sambandhata ve bana SLT Mobitel deshe fiber bala vege samagin obat atvidinna Dang fiber on life ekwa shaka boom karna Aditya 200 Mbps speed deka ke Sri Lanka ve vegavatma saha तम होम ब्रॉडबैंड संबंधता वे बने एसएलटी मोबिटेल देशे फाइव बाल वे के समग्र ओपन अत्विदिन्न दैंग फाइबर ऑन लाइफ एक वर्ष शाका बूम करना आदित्य 200 एमबीपीएस स्पीड देखा कि श्रीलंका वे वेगवत में सहा पुलुल तम होम ब्रॉडबैंड संबंधता वे बने एसएलटी मोबिटेल देशे फाइव बाल वे के समग्र ओपन अत्विद Dang fiber on life ekwa shaka boom karna Aditya 200 Mbps speed deka ke Sri Lanka ve vegavatma saha pulultama home broadband sambandhata ve bana SLT Mobitel deshe fiber bala vege samagin obat atvidinna Dang fiber on life ekwa shaka boom karna Aditya 200 Mbps speed deka ke Sri Lanka ve vegavatma saha pulultama home broadband sambandhata ve bana SLT Mobitel deshe fiber bala vege samagin obat atvidinna Dang fiber on life ekwa shaka boom karna Aditya 200 Mbps speed deka ke Sri Lanka ve vegavatma saha pulultama home broadband sambandhata ve bana SLT Mobitel deshe fiber bala vege samagin obat atvidinna Gamer.lk's Mercantile Esports Championship powered by SLT Mobitel. It's time to impress your boss and show off your gaming skills. Sri Lanka's largest mercantile level esports event is back. Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to the Mercantile Esports Championship 2022 powered by SLT Mobitel and hosted by the pioneers of esports in the country, Gamer.lk. You are joining us live for the grand finals of League of Legends. It's going to be uh, Cisco Labs taking on Oral IT in this best of three matchup. You all can see the rosters on screen while we do wait for the game to start. A massive shout out to SLT Mobitel. For powering the entire event, if you do not have a fiber line yet, make sure to get yourself one today. They have increased their speed from 100 Mbps to 200 Mbps for the year uh, 2023 at absolutely zero cost. Completely shaka booming your life. Uh, I mean, do try it out if you don't have one. We all have uh, fiber lines by now. But if you don't have one, make sure to grab yourself a SLT Mobile fiber line. And with that, we do have... Uh, the game starting up, so we will head on over to Cadmium Beast and Rampage Wolf to take us through the play-by-play -play for game number one in this Grand Finals. Welcome to Mercantile Esports Championship League of Legends Grand Finals brought, brought to you by uh, SLT Telecom. And um, to be commentating, it's me, Shakil Sajahan, with Zaid also known as Rampage Wolf. And we have a nice team going on and as the final, we can, I'm, I'm hoping you guys can see a really competitive match. And from the draft side, we have uh, no, from Oral IT side. 
uh, we have uh, on the top side we have Malphite jungles, uh, Elwet, Mid, Lissandra, and Sylvia, and Natalia is a good pair of uh, two laners. What is the Cisco Labs with the top laner of uh, Shen, Jungle Jax? Mid laner, what, uh, Raze, who is very powerful in the current patch with the bot lane of a good combination of Kaitlyn and Morgana, like we saw in the semi finals. And both sides are playing very aggressive. So, Zaid, what do you think of the gameplay of them after you see the semi finals of both the teams? Yeah, uh, I think from overall IT side, like, did you notice that uh, their support is looking or always going not the support? And like the, I don't know it if is. he's a one trick or something, but he's always going not the support on last three matches back to back. And uh, since uh, I think in this game, I think uh, depending on the draft. Uh, it's kind of hard to say who's going to win, right? Because both sure. teams, like, we saw their plays and we think it's going to be really competitive and awesome match to see. So, as I see, uh, Cisco Labs is a very competitive, like, a very aggressive team, Cisco Labs. But uh, Oralite was uh, on their semi finals, they were calm and they just played the game perfectly. The engages are perfect. Just waited for the correct time on everything. It's like uh, cold and uh, fire, the side, but it can't be fire or ice because it's very hard to pick. Because true, true, true. yeah, last the last like past three matches, like the semi-final matches, his collabs, they've been playing really aggressive, and on the last uh, like the semi-finals from Overall IT side. They were playing really competitive and slow on these. Like they were using enemies' mistakes as their yeah, normal weapon. The Q. As always, this collabs mid lane is pushing in, and okay, I, I think. Uh, Belvet. And they are pinging towards the Belvet. The Belvet is gonna get chopped in by Shen, Jax, and Raze, but Belvet flashes away. No, she queues away. The flash is still there, and with Belvet, the raise is up, and uh, Lissandra tells, "No, it's not a good fight to take," and Lissandra goes back. They turn quick, but they didn't have the enough damage to t uh, finish it off. It's kind of a nice game, and the stun, and that's another thing I was about to say with the Sevilla against the Morgana. You can like mm -hmm. touch the Q with the E, mm -hmm. you like, think it will knock to you. Oh, what, what's the uh, Sevilla's uh, E cooldown? Is it low? Uh, it's high a bit, it's around 23 seconds. Oh, then then it's, it's gonna be hard, but still he can, she can uh, dodge uh, Morgana's Q. It's like dodging death. Okay, he just got rooted. It's a good combo of uh, Skytlin and uh, Morgana. Because after you get stunned, you can just perma stun people under turret and kill them. And it's the dragon is up, Belvet is move, parting towards the dragon. And Jack is also around the corner in the blue side. Anyways, Raze has to play, he's playing the perfect gameplay for Raze, like he pushes in and he just ults to the other lanes after he gets to level 6. Yeah, he's, he pushes in the wave then roams away. It's really nice. And he like comes in from Lissandra. Getting annoyed. It's a nice taunt from Shen, and the Malphite is low on mana, so he can't do much. He'll just walk away. And bot slide recalls, and the red buff is about to spawn on the side of uh, Belvet. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the uh, dragon is up. I'm hoping to see a dragon fight. 
Well, dragon. Hey, I don't think it'll be a dragon fight because uh, no, Jack thinks that he's going to the dragon. So, but there's a small disadvantage that the bot side of uh, Spartans is coming from items from the shop, and uh, they are from the still in the starting item. So it's collapse. Ooh, nice. So satisfying. Oh, let's go. Um, I usually like to play raise mid. Raise mid. Yeah, it's it's either you you get you get you mess up everything or you just do it well. Yes, basically. <laughs> it's it's easy to farm as raise. That's the thing. But it's not that easy to farm. Like some, if you don't uh, calculate the damage properly, you will like. Uh, you it'll like it'll leave one shot like a minion to like last hit and take the kill. Okay, like a Jack health. is following the Drake. The new the UFX and some changes onto Jax is very OP. The current really? patch. Jax top is very OP with the new uh, ult changes onto Jax. Can you tell me one patch where Jax wasn't OP? There was. Jax is so OP like the whole game. A lantern player. And the taunt connects and the shield does gone down and it's the first dragon goes to the side of this collapse. The road connects for uh onto more Kai. Oh, sorry, Natalias. Exactly. And a taunt There's connects. There's another taunt going in. Shen plays very well, he just spawns and he just hits some shots and he backs away. But because yeah. he knows that uh, Malphite could ult him and kill him also, he has a good damage on Malphite. Both teams are trading well. And 10 minutes and no more, no blood yet to be drawn from the side of both sides. That is poke, but... Oh, and... Morgana, Morgana is hitting his... Getting her kills as well. Ooh, nice one. Jax. Jax went in. Oh, there's a flash. That. And it's a one. Oh, it's a executed. Cisco with the aggressive plays. Let's go. Yeah, so more. Lissandra's basic was dodged by Jack's, uh counter. Sh counter Fun. strike. So, damage. To get the kill from the tower, the uh, Lissandra didn't do any damage to Jax. And top lane is more or like see, they are just trading. And it's pushed. From the side, from the bot side. Uh, it's going a bit equal. It was well played from the mid lane of mid and jungle duo from the side of uh, Cisco Labs to secure the kill onto uh, Sandra. And it's. I am anticipating an alt from. Uh, an alt from Malphite. Malphite. And Velvet is in bot lane and he could put the rift down. And the taunt Bond connects in. and Jax is also here. And I think he will ult away. No, the ult is not even used yet from Malphite. Um, so he goes in. Uh, Severe, so the rift is gone into the bot lane of the other, and it's a flash nice flash and taunt. taunt. It was perfect from Shen. It was beautiful to take back, take the second kill from Cisco Labs and raise. Uh, he hits a combo and runs away. Lissandra taking the poke from raise. The new Road of Ages uh, raise is very OP. You have to try. Do you know what's OP than that? 
playing top laners on mid. Because Which is a mid laner. I love no no in playing top laners like the tanky picks on mid. Oh like uh, so the oh, current God. OP pick is like uh, playing modic is uh, yeah, playing yeah. gangplank mid. The current I learned it hard way because once I invited a guy for a one v one and he picked uh, Eloy and I picked Zed. At early it was nice. Then after buying her first item, because that was nice flash. But Lissandra has got stunned. Lissandra, ha oh nice, and the red buff finishes the kill off. Lissandra has good uh, disengage tools, so she was using it well, but it was not enough. A good flash committed from uh, Dead Master. Belt were checking towards the jungle of Jax. Jax is coming towards the bot side, and a dragon is up in 15 seconds. And it's gonna be a dragon fight. And the stun connects onto Nautilus. Um, and the blue uh, Spartans are pushed to the dragon to secure the second dragon of he the just game. There is a Jax going is on. gone in, but what did it cost Jax? And Morgana goes in and a four man ult from Morgana, but she goes before the ult. And nice Ray's ult from Ray's triple kill to the oh, quadra kill for Caitlyn. What a Turnover of events. It was nice play by Rise. He just perfectly that executed. That was good from Rise, and that was a great play from uh, Kaitlyn too. She didn't give anything back. They just slain the rise though. And it's go uh, the rift heralds is coming up. And Belvet is parting towards the top side. And now this bot lane is a bit too powerful to handle. And Lissandra is caught up with Jax and Race. Oh, Belvet comes in. It's a bad decision Another to go fight. in. But and no. He manages to stun both of them. And Jax is going in. Berserk. Jax. Jax is not dead. But on the other side, Kaitlyn dies on the other side of the map. How? A 3 for 1 trade. They just to take 3 kills and uh, I think they got the rift as well. And they got Kaitlyn on the other hand of the map. How can it? How can Kaitlyn die? And they could rift top side or bot middle. I think the rift is going. Rex walking towards the bot side, middle, uh, mid lane. But the tower top mid lane is gone. It's a turret for turret, two turrets. The goal is around 3k to the advantages of Cisco Labs. And Shen is also has started a siege into the turret. Kaitlyn walking towards mid, uh, and it's a swap of rays going bot and putting your ADC in the mid. A good 
strategy from the side of Cisco Labs, putting your ADC in the mid and sending your side laners into lanes, solar laners to the side lanes. The dragon is up in two minutes and clearing out vision the game of and that's a nice stun from Morgana. Shen is already ready and it's I can feel a dragon fi a fight is gonna burst out before even the dragon spawns there is a 4k lead of gold going on between the two teams So the dragon is up in another 57 seconds and the top side is going even a bit um, and the mid lane is staying same. The mid lane uh, stays equal on the border side and just a cold lead or two, um, uh, a two 3k lead for the side of. And this is what we call as the silence before the storm. Everybody is All everybody's parting towards and the ping is going on. They see Kaitlyn is walking in with get uh, and the Kaitlyn is caught up. The Jax is caught up, but the Chen ults and it won't save Kaitlyn or the Lux. But Raze is caught up and Morgana goes for a three man ult and stuns three of them. But what can the poor Raze do? Against the mix of force, four people. Yeah, I think at this, uh, like the this oral IT and is pretty the low. other hand, oh, he is also oh, dead. Uh, but uh, TP is coming from Shen, which is a good move if he had done it earlier. But he died and he TP'd instantly. He respawned, and oral IT is back. back on the board with just 400 gold lead. The play was really nice though. They they knew if they fought against a 5v5 they would lose so they just went in for, like they went all out with the Caitlyn and manages to kill her first and then killed them one by one. That was a great pick from the team of Oral IT. They picked the main source of damage after the most of the lead of the gold is near Caitlyn. So they saw him walking towards the ward with Jax. They ignored the Jax, but they and took on the Kaitlyn. Yes. Kaitlyn was altered by uh, the Sandra and and it's a three hundred gold. The 3k gold deficit from Cisco Labs uh, has been catch up from the Oral IT. Yes, both teams are playing now. I think it's the phase of playing competitive or equal. You know, it's going to be a while for farming. Uh, and Jax is hovering around the around Baron. Three minutes for a fight? Or is it? Are they going to go for the Baron? Uh, no. Oh. Baron, um, Jax is going. His cannon. And they're scaling. This collapse.
and the taunt connects onto the Malphite. Uh, Raze is dealing good damage to Lissandra. The I think they are focusing onto the Baron, but only Jackson Shen is onto the top side. But all the whole uh, team of Cisco Labs are on the whole team of Oralite are onto the Baron. They are giving. They are going for Malphite, but they it, they didn't know that they are onto the Baron, and they are turning towards the Baron. Jax is going. They already got half of the Baron's life. I think they just the uh, one life he just secured the Baron. Jax spots. They are doing the Baron, and they turn around. The Shen is altered by Malphite, and another airborne from Velvet, and the Shen puts his shield. And Jax is caught up in the mix of four, but Jax takes Bellwood down and it's a flash away from Jax with the counter strike. Shen doesn't die and Morgana comes in with Kaitlyn. And Morgana tries to ult, but it was and Race goes in into a four mix of four and Shen also taunts two people and what a turnaround of events. And Kaitlyn takes the trouble, two kills. And what a ult from Raze going into a miss of five, but taking down all four members of Oralite. Cisco Labs are turning onto the Baron, the pings are onto the Baron. Shen, Jax, and Raze are all in half health. They can. Velvet is there, Velvet is walking towards the Baron, and there's Vision. Malphite could TP, Malphite tipping in. I think it's a good time to back off because Belvet is on the corner. Ray is zoning out Malphite, but Belvet is on the side. And good taunt by Shen, not allowing Belvet to smite it away. And a great fight onto the side of Cisco Labs with the kill with six kills for nothing. And the Baron. Funneling 5k gold into the team and keeping their lead alive. And the Baron it was well played by both teams actually. That that on that place on that scene, uh, I, at first I thought Oralite got the, the chance to kill everyone, and then they just retreated. And again, that was a good ult from Rage to keep that. Hopes are alive. He, he just went of... in for a four, four and one. flash and another flash for Natalia. It's a flash for flash trade, but Liz is dead. Raze takes a kill, and the dragon is up at nine seconds. It's a uh, dragon so a uh, soul point for Cisco Labs. No, I, I think they need two more, right, Cisco? And Belvert is okay, caught yeah. up on Raze. Belvert. Has damage, Raze is caught up, but Raze is ult from Lissandra. Raze uses his moment speed from the Q and runs away. But Sevilla is turning the games around, but it's not enough. And Sevilla and Lissandra goes behind. And still the top lane there. And the dragon is on to the Cisco Labs. As usual, the top lane is all on. Camping on top and farming. And Sevilla is coming. Shen knows something's fishy. That, and it's I a wall it flash. flashes away. But Malphi could have uh, altered him back. And the mid third goes with a Baron buff. They're taking down, sieging down towards. And Raze and Jax are going bot lane to push the tier one, tier two turret with the Baron buff. No, he's recalling on a ward. Oh, Ooh, that, that was, was a close, close one. Close There is a seven kill lead going on and a gold six point seven six point six k gold lead. Six thousand seven hundred gold lead between two teams. And and one more dragon. If this uh, earth dragon goes to Cisco Lab, I think Shen and the other tanks are gonna be really powerful. After this mountain drake goes towards the sides of Cisco Labs, Shin and Jax will be very OP. And even to other side, Raze is a tank champ. He's building tank, Raze. So he'll be OP too. He's, he's kind of tanky as well. So 
the game have calmed a bit before the storm and the bot lane is pushed and they're going oh, for a raise and for the raise, raise is dead oh yeah raise is dead it took them a long time to kill the raise only four men but <laughs> in what cost the bot tier, tier 2 is down they're recalling and they're going they for the tier move, 1 to go off their uh, players to kill raise and this could just go uh, and they're going the they're not recalling they're pushing bot and Shane and Malphite is fighting here and the inevitable are going down and nice body block from Natalius for the severe ult severe ace in the hole from uh, and it combined connects but and it's a TP coming in from it is, uh, is it gonna be a team fight? no they be, they won't be risking the fight uh, from the side of Cisco Labs because Raze is down but there's no objective in the map to go to for it will be a good time to recall and if 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 this collab manages to take an, another ace with high man alive i think that's the end of the game and velvet caught up but oh Oof. Velvet did the plays but rise rise just predicted everything and there is a three man team surprise velvet, velvet was hovering around thinking that only raise will come for him but three men ults three people comes in velvet just got a package of it's surprise, a shockable then. moment for velvet They're gonna be a team fight and there's a nice stun on to raise from Lissandra, but the damage from Morgana is too much. And the ace in the hole connects. Shen going in. It's a two for two trade. And Jax trading blows in the mid lane with Malphite. And the dragon is up in 55 seconds. Every oh, that's a nice storm to beat melted. with the taunt and the ace uh, headshot from Kaitlyn. And it's 30 seconds for the dragon, so it will be a good time to recall and walk towards the dragon and place the boards. Or they could like walk around towards the baron too. Baron is up in baron is up. And the dragon is in the playing really well and well calculated, I guess. Okay, so the drake is up in 15 seconds, and we can expect to see another big fight with that. The overlight you could gamble one thing, they could uh, give away the mountain soul and take the baron away, or they could give the baron away and take the mountain soul. But I don't think they're gonna, they're gonna do that because uh, at this point. Phase of the game, Cisco Labs uh, Mountain Drake stole is more valuable than the Baron. What do you think? If they get yeah. the Baron, if, if they get the Mountain Drake stole and if uh, Oral T Oral IT doesn't manage something's to take the Baron, co something's cooking up into the bot bot river bush from side of Oral IT, and Belvet is going to space check solely. If they walk in, it is a perfect time. If there's and a five-man coming in. Sevi ult, and there's a two-man ult into the back line, and the dragon is taken by Cisco Labs. On what cost? Jax and Jax is still alive, Sin and Jax is going Shen on. Shen is in a mission to take down them. Shen and Jax, the two two tanks of the game, just manages to Triple kill all kill of the enemies, Jax. and it's a quadra kill. For Jax, could it be a quadra kill? And Shen jump, and okay, it's a it was a ace. Jump ace, and it was two v four. And Shen and Jax are too tanky just, and too just like good. I said, they just manages to take the kill, and they walk. They are going straight towards the Baron, and Morgana is up, and Belvet is up too. Well, but he's walking, they but... They just secured the Drake and got the buff from the Drake. 
Terror, uh, uh, tank. And now okay, they're doing the Drake. So running. The Do you know, fun fact, that uh, people behind the Baron get more damage than people on the front. Uh, and it's a, just a dead kill. There's another team fight. And but it's a big... Shivya... Shen is caught up and dead. And Jax is also dies, but... Raze is going in. Ooh, Ooh. That was a core oh, right. kill. They're going I for a Penta, I guess. Dead. He's going for a Penta. He's going Will for he? a Penta, but... Is Oral IT gonna respect his needs and give the Penta away, or is he gonna fight Please give back? the Penta. Please give the Penta. He's taunting Raze to come for him. But he has more time, he has more of 5 seconds to kill him. No, that's bad sportsmanship from uh, not Leas not to give the Penta. <laughs> Morgan gave the Penta for Gumei Yushi in T1 match. I told you the new the after Road of Ages release raises to mm -hmm. OP. League League of Legends like they, they have a uh, a thing thing to make like every time they revert something they just create something really OP and they have to come in and fix it back. Raze was uh, typically OP before this that they put them out some new items some mythical mm -hmm. items and some they took uh, sunfire escape out of the sunfire uh, from out of the mythical okay. item mm -hmm. so uh, and the old items like uh, blade of shinnings and road of ages all of them came back to the so I think this is it. The Spiritual Labs is gonna get the kill. I hope they can get the kill. I think they can, they can easily get a win here. And the traps is set. And Shen is pushing bot. Top is pushed by the super minions. Oof, the book. Even the Morgana missed her Q. Just imagine if the Morgana Q would have knocked. They're just knocking into your door. Knock, knock, open up the door. Oral IT. And they go for. Malphite goes in. Malphite the kill. goes for uh, uh, Caitlyn. But Shen ults Caitlyn and saves her. Raze is fighting down there. Is it enough to kill others with Raze? Oh, Raze. Well played Oral IT and the win goes to this collapse. GG. And stay tuned for game number two. Will Oral IT bounce back or Cisco Labs will call it a 2-0 victory or was Oral IT? So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Game number one going in favor of uh, Cisco Labs. Uh, can Oral ID come back in game number two? Can they force that all important game number three uh, to uh, make a run for that gold medal? Or will they have to settle for the silver? We'll have all of these uh, questions answered shortly, uh, but we will be heading into a very, very short break. Do stay tuned in with us. You're joining us live for the Mercantile Esports Championship 2022. Gamer.lk's Mercantile Esports Championship, powered by SLT Mobitel. It's time to impress your boss and show off your gaming skills. Sri Lanka's largest mercantile level esports event is back. Shakaboom. Dang, fiber on life fake was shakaboom karna. Aditi a 200 Mbps speed deka ke. Sri Lanka ve vegavat masaha pulul tama home broadband sambandhtaave vana SLT Mobitel. Deshe fiber bala vege samagi obat atvidinna.
Dang, fiber on life. But shaka boom karna. Agvitiya 200 Mbps speed deka ke. Sri Lanka ve vegavat masaha pulul tama home broadband sambandita ve vana SLT Mobitel. Deshe fiber bala vege samagi obat atvidinna. Dang, fiber on life. But shaka boom karna. Agvitiya 200 Mbps speed deka ke. Sri Lanka ve vegavat masaha pulul. Home broadband sampandatave vana SLT Mobitel. They share fiber balavege samagi obat atvidinna. Dang, fiber on life. Ekva shaka boom karna. Agvitiya 200 Mbps speed deka ke. Sri Lanka ve vegavat masaha pulul tama home broadband sampandatave vana SLT Mobitel. They share fiber balavege samagi obat atvidinna. Dang, fiber on life. Ekva shaka boom karna. Agvitiya 200 Mbps speed deka ke. Sri Lanka ve vegavat masaha pulul tama home broadband sampandita ve vana SLT Mobitel. They share fiber balavege samagi obat atvidinna. Dang, fiber on life. Ekva shaka boom karna. Agvitiya 200 Mbps speed deka ke. Sri Lanka ve vegavat masaha pulul तमा होम ब्रॉडबैंड संबंधित आवे बने SLT मोबिटेल देशे फाइब बाले वेगे समगी ओबात अत्विदिन्न Dang, fiber on life. Ekva shaka boom karna. Agvitiya 200 Mbps speed deka ke. Sri Lanka ve vegavat masaha pulul tama home broadband sambandita ave vana SLT Mobitel. Deshe fiber bala vege samagi obat atvidinna. Dang, fiber on life. Ekva shaka boom karna. Agvitiya 200 Mbps speed deka ke. Sri Lanka ve vegavat masaha pulul tama home broadband sambandita ave vana SLT Mobitel. Deshe fiber bala vege samagi obat atvidinna. Dang, fiber on life. Ekva shaka boom karna. Agvitiya 200 Mbps speed deka ke. Sri Lanka ve vegavat masaha pulul tama home broadband sambandita ave vana SLT Mobitel. Deshe fiber bala vege samagi obat atvidinna. Gamer.lk's Mercantile Esports Championship, powered by SLT Mobitel. It's time to impress your boss and show off your gaming skills. Sri Lanka's largest mercantile level esports event is back. Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Mercantile League for Championship 2022. You're joining us live for the League of Legends Grand Finals between Cisco Labs and Oral IT. Game number one being taken by a Cisco Labs. We're just about to head into game number two. But just a reminder before we do head on into game number two, this entire event is powered by none other than SLT Mobitel. If you all have not checked out their esports platform, do check it out. They do have something for everyone, including the rewards, so as well as our tournaments. Uh, also, uh, subscription packages to suit not just the veteran gamers, but up and coming new gamers as well. They do have data packages as well, uh, starting at as low as uh, 500 rupees as well. So do check it out. Uh, but with that, I think game number two is ready. Let's head on over to see if they can force that game number three. It is all ID checking on Cisco Lab in game number two. Cadmium, uh, Cadmium Beast and Rampage Wolf, over to you guys. Welcome back to the game two of the grand finals of Mercantile Esports Championship 2022. And I'm Shakil Sajahan alongside with Dave Nazarin, also known as Rampage Wolf. After a demanding victory fight by Cisco Labs in the game one, uh, we have here, will Oral IT able to bounce back or will it be a clean strike by the Cisco Labs? So, uh, so from the side of Cisco Labs, they have gone with the classic uh, Kaitlyn, Morgana, Botlane and the uh, Jax jungle with a good powerful and a clear top and Diana mid. And alongside in the Oral IT, we got um, Garan top, Tristana, Natalia, spot lane, jungle, Wukong, and mid lane with Spain. In terms of draft, who do you think Shakil is gonna win on this match? So, it's very hard to tell in the game, start of the game, because both the teams are very, uh, 
balance pick and most of the beta champs like Jax, uh, Jax, Diana, Kaitlyn who was OP in this meta, everybody is out, out and Tristana is also out as an OP champ. True, true, true. One team fight can change the game style, right? Yes. A single mistake from either side will be a uh, GG. No mistakes will be happen this game. This collapse wins this match. They can just easily move into the finals. And if Orlighty gives them a challenge, that will be another match to see. As this is the grand finals, we can okay. see the champions. We can see Jax is trying to invade Wukong's jungle and going to run. Wukong is caught. Wukong clones away and Swain and Dianas goes for the help for Jax and Garon is also coming towards them. Jax invade is not successful but will be spot on by oh it's a nice rule from Swain. As a mid laner seeing Swain mid is really annoying like late game it, it like he gets taxed from his health right uh it's kind of you know a kind of OP but Managed to lower him a little bit, but still he's OP, played by a good player. Jax is bullying uh, Wukong in the red side, but Jax is in a choke point. But that who was a street fight. This is a bad fight to be taken from Cisco Labs, and Diana has given up and give us a thumbs up in the fight. First blood goes to Wukong. Well played. And two for zero trade, which is positive for the side of Oral IT. It's so connects from Natalius and Jack. They went in. And it was a close one. It's a one for one trade on both lane. It's worth because both the supports got the kills, not the ADCs. Yeah, but I think Caitlyn got the upper hand on here because if she can uh, freeze the farm, freeze the wave, and farm well. And the Tristana just died, you know? Hmm. And the top side is very aggressive with Clade, but Garon is a very strong champ with his silence in early off the game. And the hook connects. So Dragon is up. Zaid, will, uh, will it be good to go for an early Dragon or a late Dragon? Uh, a bit like 7 or 8 minutes Dragon or a straight away a 5 minute Dragon? I, I don't think like... Uh... It's, I think from the side of this collab, it's better to go early dragon because Jack is uh, uh, powerful in a 1v1 if Wu Kong manages to go near the dragon. And uh, from the oral IT side, I think it's better for them to take it at level 7. But if, uh, if uh, Jack is going to take it at level 5, it's going to be a small problem for them unless the team comes up. Yeah, it's a true fact. But there's the one thing that. Wukong has a good potential to one uh, start a dragon early because yeah, of his yeah. passive, and even Jax has the same potential, which is a passive. Nice so, okay, okay Wukong, Wukong comes mid, wins. and Diana is caught up with the root, and Wukong gets the kill. Wukong flashes, and it's. A flash for flash trade and an even trade, and as Oralite is on the board early on. Oralite is doing the break on level 5 all the Sorry, on, uh, on time. Jax is walking minutes. towards the dragon. Will he be able to steal it? Uh, Maybe yeah. a death. A death. I, uh, oh. just he could have dragon. jumped in and uh, smited it because uh, Wukong uh, smited it early and 60 health was remaining. Yeah, maybe maybe uh, Jax is trying to play safe and not trying to give them more money. Already they have three kill lead and uh, almost a one k gold lead, one point five k, almost. The binding connects, but no follow up from Caitlyn. Caitlyn and Morgan is a perfect combo, you know. If Diana if is Diana is going towards top side, a drive is potential for Di Diana, and it's a nice law, but. Garan sees Diana and runs away. Garan, I, I don't know how Garan saw the 
saw Diana because there wasn't oh there was a there wasn't any uh wards there. He uh Pretty when Diana pretty. was getting into the bush he saw because he was chasing Flynn. Oh. And it just uh, oh. it, it felt obvious because the Diana parted towards top side and she was missing for a long time. And the thumbs up from Diana that like he, he she did tells a good thing, like going uh, Spain against the Diana. Because Diana is an assassin like champ, right? So more health equals if How oral IT went for an, Yeah, if oral IT went for a Vega or someone, a mate be harder a route and I'll connect and Jax goes in but a nice flash from Swain and she he manages to escape and a hook connects onto the Diana and he's baiting him in but Wukong is from both sides he's walking towards oh the ult is finished from Swain what a damage from Swain from early on the game almost almost and him out. Wukong is waiting in the bush for Jax but Ooh, Jax Jax was going in and he was like something's fishy and he watched it before he went as a bush and finds out Wukong. Lightning connects and that's the death Ooh. of Natalia's and the, oh, oh nice, nice flash. flash from Tristana. Flash Tristana. Uh, ADC uh, support will need is a uh, support the ADC who will save them <laughs> and Clade is in a difficult position here the skull has left him and gone he has to stack up a bit still his collapse can easily get the lead back because it's just one team team fight away Rift is ready so I prefer Wukong part into a stop side now than coming to bot. And the trap caught. Oh, Wukong takes a good chunk of damage down. Jax could walk up to the uh, rift at at this rate, but uh, Jax has a disadvantage because Jax stop side is very behind Ooh. the Cisco Labs. Gotta and the stun connects. His roots are really clean. Did you notice that? If Jax would have gone, Jax could have gone for a conqueror build than Lethal Tempo. Mm -hmm. Because he'll have too many extended fights than uh, quick fights. With so Jax. I, think, I think Jax just went for a late game. Okay, alt from Diana and a root from Morgana. I think it's an easy kill to Kate. Kate just secured the kill. And Kate manages to poke Tristana as much as possible. And the team just collapsed. Just retreated with a one kill. Do you think they yeah. could have uh, taken down Tristana if they engaged power dive? Oh no. Uh, no, because uh, Tristana has a rocket jump available. So it won't be a good thing. And... Cisco Labs are going uh, going for the zone. So, Oral IT are taking the rift down. So rift house is secured by Goko. And it's gonna be Wukong dropped in mid. Mid? Oh no. I think he's he's, he's waiting for plans. the dragons to spawn so he could rift mid and go for dragon. Hey, the chunky battle on top and Garan goes with his kill and he's uh, kills the minion and Skull goes in Skull leaves Khaled Garan goes in now is and the chance to kill Khaled uh, oh, oh it, it was, was a close line. a close call from Garan what light he manages to take the dragon I guess and the this collapse bot lane is also there and it was a close one Caitlyn tried to steal it, but that is staying hovering around to check the patience. But Garan, is, uh, Garan flashes an ease and manages to secure the kill. That flash was perfect because if Garan had walked 
towards Clyde. He could have just killed okay. and uh, power up and take what, taken his call back. It will be a disaster for Garon. Well played by Garon. I think it's gonna be a nice chunky of chunk of gold if Drift manages to hit. Swain Johns. Zonia yeah, Hourglass is used and the ult is used by Swain. Garen Jax goes in, takes down Swain. And it's a and he, uh, Wukong is a bad position. Ooh. Nice ace in the it, hole it, it, from nice. Caitlyn. I think now uh, the Diana can easily push Diana and Morgana and take the yeah. Well, that was a good team play. A uh, ace in a hole from the bot lane and a great combo from Jax to save up Diana. Thirteen minutes in, and Aura Light is manages to take two drakes, two dragons, and one uh, one rift. It's one rift. they are on to objectives hard, and Tristana could seize the tar turret also. Tristana is playing safe. Tristana knows if she gets caught to Morgana's cave, it's game over. Because once they get, once one of them gets caught to Morgana's cave, and Caitlyn's gonna root them for sure. It's like chain CC is possible. Just chain CC is possible. And they're thinking where? Oh, the minion interrupts. Cube. The minion interrupts the uh, anchor. Morgana sacrifices her spell to More. save Caitlyn. It was a nice play. Nice gank from Wukong. Nobody saw him coming. And with the silence, he played the game. Do you, do you think Morgana's e, the shield is uh, too old? Ace in the hole comes. Ace in the hole connects for uh, Tristana. Tristana backs off. Two minutes more and we can see, we can hope to see a dragon fight. Wukong's going in for Diana. Nice, see a nice Q goal. from uh, Wukong. Jax is also there. And uh, all these Wukong demonic embrance is used by uh, Swain. That was a nice... Swain manages to pull in Jax into the tower and made him take two tower shots. Then finish him, finish him off with his ult explosion. So Swain ult works like this. As long as uh, enemies are inside the... Uh, it does damage to enemies. Mm -hmm. When he's in ult form, the, res the time of the ult is resets. As long as there are people inside, it resets. So when Jax was inside the uh, pool, his Q uh, ult duration is higher. So he was he was manage he was able to manageably keep Jax inside the uh, alt range alt with his uh, root. Dragon is up in one minute, and with a three k gold lead, uh, Oralite is in a demanding position. They could not mess up the game. They could just snowball this game from here onwards. And Morgana is cautious. Diana is gonna take the first tower for tower. the whole. Uh, uh, both the mid first tower are gone. Diana jacks up out into towards both side. Oh, the, the binding flash. is flashed by Nautilus. Okay, all oh, they are roaming around Drake. I think Diana Did caught up. And it's a nice ult from Swain and Diana. Double kill, two down. And Caitlyn came into the fight later on and managed to take some chunky damage. And just to give some chunky damage. And and Garen comes in, goes for Clad. Caitlyn is down with a 400 shutdown, and Clad is going for a 1v4. 1v3 and Fled is down. It oh, is a 5 foot. It's an ace for 1, which is a very. 1 for 2, which is a very good 
great for oral IT and their ladies increasing gradually. The rift is up. They could go recall and go for the rift. People have, could have won that fight if uh, Caitlyn was there early on. Caitlyn yes. was there when uh, the attack of someone was so hurt and after the stuns and all. And the Tarot. oral lady just started to focus on uh, Caitlyn. The turret is gone. To take two kills all. This but is... Good. Diana went no, in. Not is caught up. Is Diana He's gonna go use her ult? And well played by Blade Masters to win the fight and takes Diana down Natalius. Tristana fire finishes her Kraken Slayer. Jax is going in for a 2v2 and it okay, becomes a 3v3. Wukong is down. And it's a good trade from the side of this collapse, and it's a flash Man. kill all from the Demacian bodyguard. God King, De God King Garon is going. This is this collapse. They are trying to not give their tra objectives more, but still, or light is uh, too powerful at this point to use the most of the gold is funneled into the mid lane, so mid lane is powerful compared to the bot lane of Oral IT. So, Swain is going towards Caitlyn and uh, Morgana, and the binding Swain connects, and the ult is also. Down? Tristana oh. manages to put the E down. Okay, there's another Diana fight. is caught up. Diana. Jax is also coming. There is a bad portion for both the teams, so should they should back off. But Diana is very sure that she's going in with her alt available. Diana is playing really aggressive and just got punished for that aggressive she didn't have even ult to go in which was strange and the binding connects Kate, Caitlyn is just fighting really well oh, oh double kill for the jacks and this Clay is fighting just... Garen took two turret shots a nice silence okay. from Garen I don't think two turrets are going to break at this point. And a Q and an ult. Alt. Garen is unstoppable. He's going to be the game changer for the side of Cisco uh, or Lighty. I think on the side on the side of Cisco Lab, you can hope the game change from uh, Jax and Kate. The kill goal. From the oral IT side, uh, there are five kills leading. This collapse have caught up with the kills uh, gold. The three K gold lead has become only hundred one uh, K gold. This collapse are catching up to uh, oral IT. Will they be able to bounce back in this early game deficition? Just few few mistakes from oral IT can just change the game easily. The engagers, even Cisco Lab, uh, engaged a lot, like unwanted they engaged, and Diana caught up uh, so lowly, but it's not. And Clay is also caught up in the midst of five people. The whole team is here, and it's a great time to go for a Baron. Even Jax is alive, they can't do anything. And the uh, honey fruit is taken by Tristana. So Tristana is pushing mid and trying to take a tower turret uh, as a trade off for the Baron. Notice the. Uh, hey, gone. I've noticed Caitlyn has a really good uh, split pushing. 
and not only is Caitlyn is caught up in the midst of three. Caitlyn managed to recall, I guess. No, and I she think this the will be the dragon soul for Kristana is having a fight with Caitlyn. And but Kristana is getting having a wild goose chase. I think the dragon or soul like is... is doing the Drake, and I think uh, Jack is roaming around to steal it. I don't think just will, Jack will be able to steal it. And if Oralite manages to secure that, secure this break, soul goes to the Oralite. soul goes to Oralite Spartans. And uh, Garon is in the midst of three. I don't and think the Garen binding goes wide. Three is enough to shut down Garon at this point. Wukong is also in Wukong's the also, corner. Yes, I think we can expect to see a one one v four fight if Wukong. Okay, Wukong's just recalling. The recall comes in. Okay, everyone's resetting. And the mid is pushed by Oralite team. They wanted to take down this first in a bit of uh, first turret. Uh, second tier turret from the mid lane. There is a 2.5k goal lead going on with Oralite. And Diana is spotted. With the Caitlyn, their wave clear is very fast because they have the range to clear the minutes. Nice pull, two man pull from Swain. But no follow up from the side of Oralite team. But a good chunk of damage was taken. The top tier 2 turret is gone. Garen pushes it and. Tristana is rooted up. Swain goes on the turret into in. three. And Zonias. Oh, and there's a nice Swain heals up as a monster. But Gar D Jax goes in and takes it down. And Garen comes into the party to finish it off. And Tristana is caught Tristana up and dead. Tristana just blue and I think. This is why uh, Jack went lethal tempo late game. Okay, Garen just shut down uh, Jack, and is it enough to kill Diana? Diana is running off. Yes, and uh, Garen gonna get an ace. No, he won't so because he, uh, he knows if he goes in, Kret could uh, one, one, spawn one more back the scarf yes. and trade off. Surprisingly, it was really. Uh, I didn't expect to give Cisco Cisco Labs to give this much damage off suddenly. It was a sudden spike from the Jax. What do you think? Yes, so true. Jax is, as I mentioned in the early game, Jax is one of the meta champs who has a great. who plays well in the Beast meta with his new uh, reworks, with his ult reworks and with the mana uh, magic resistance he gets and with the damage he gets even and it's a good co counter for Swain, the Jax both the teams are looking powerful so we can't even decide who will win this game as a deciding game Biden goes wide Swain is pushing from mid, Wukong is also farming. So the pressure of the wave is towards the side of Cisco Labs from Oralite. Oralite is pushing in hard. They just want to push the mid first the uh, inhibitor turret, but they don't have the facilities to do that. And Wukong walking towards bot. Swain is playing aggressively. He wants, he's trying for a pull. Okay, Kled and... versus Garen on top lane and 3v3 on a mid lane. Oh, Swain kill. Just... That was a he nice cook by Swain. In and it was a nice cook. And Garen attacks the turret on the first inhibitor turret from the top side. 
I think the star rod will go down now. And uh and Clet goes in for but where the Clet goes behind to the back line, but his front line is dead before he goes to the back line. Before Clet goes for the black line, then his front line are dead. And it was a great play from Oral IT to finish the first star at off. And the first inhibitor is going, I think they are gonna end this game right here and here. Only Diana can watch and wait that Oral IT destroy their base. Diana is they running away. Do a thousand IQ move, but uh, it was too late. The front line just died before he went down. Well played. Easy. As Oral IT bounced back from the defending from game one, and next match, well, I will meet you guys with Zaid Nazrin on the game three to see who will take the championship. Will it be Cisco Labs team shot call or Oral IT team Spartans? What a grand final this is turning out to be. Oral IT taking game number two and forcing that all important game number three. And now it is basically a best of one between the two teams. Uh, we will have to wait and see how that comes together, though. We will we'll have to wait a little bit longer. We'll be heading into a very, very short break. Uh, but when we are back, we'll see the conclusion of the League of Legends grand final right here at the Mercantile Esports Championship 2022. We'll be right back, guys. Gamer.lk's Mercantile Esports Championship, powered by SLT Mobitel. It's time to impress your boss and show off your gaming skills. Sri Lanka's largest mercantile level esports event is back. Shakaboom. Dang, fiber on life. Was Shakaboom karna. Alvithiya 200 Mbps speed deka ke. Sri Lanka ve vegavat ma saha pulul tama home broadband sambandh taave bana. SLT Mobitel. Deshe fiber bala vege samagi obat atvidinna. Shakaboom. Dang, fiber on life. Was Shakaboom karna. Alvithiya 200 Mbps speed deka ke. Sri Lanka ve vegavat ma saha pulul Home broadband Sampandavana SLT Mobitel. They share fiber balabegia samagi opat at within. Dang fiber on life fake was shaka boom karna alvithiya 200 mbps speed deka ke Sri Lanka ve vegavat ma saha pulul tama home broadband sampandh taave bana SLT Mobitel. They share fiber balabegia samagi opat at within. Dang, fiber on life fake was shaka boom karna alvithiya 200 mbps speed deka ke Sri Lanka ve vegavat ma saha pulul tama home broadband sampandh taave bana SLT Mobitel. They share fiber bala vege samagi opat at within. Dang, fiber on life fake was shaka boom karna alvithiya 200 mbps speed deka ke Sri Lanka ve vegavat ma saha pulul tama home broadband sampandh taave bana SLT Mobitel. They share fiber bala vege samagi opat at within. Dang, fiber on life fake was shaka boom karna alvithiya 200 mbps speed deka ke Sri Lanka ve vegavat ma saha pulul tama home broadband sampandh taave bana SLT Mobitel. They share fiber bala vege samagi opat at within. Dang, fiber on life fake was shaka boom karna alvithiya 200 mbps speed deka ke Sri Lanka ve vegavat ma saha pulul tama home broadband sampandh taave bana SLT Mobitel. They share fiber bala vege samagi opat at within. Dang, fiber on life fake was shaka boom karna alvithiya 200 mbps speed deka ke Sri Lanka ve vegavat ma saha pulul tama home broadband sampandh taave bana SLT Mobitel. They share fiber bala vege samagi opat at within.
Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Gamer.LK's Mercantile Esports Championship 2022, powered by SLT Mobitel. You're joining us live for the grand finals of League of Legends. We are just about to head into an all-important game number three to decide who the best, best League of Legends uh, team out there in the mercantile sector. But before we do head on into it, a uh, massive shout out to SLT Mobitel uh, for powering the entire event. And if you want your life completely shakaboom for the year 2023, make sure to grab yourself a fiber line from SLT Mobitel. They have increased their speed from 100 to 200 Mbps, uh, which is absolutely insane. The fastest connection in the country has got that much faster. Uh, but uh, we are all waiting to see the conclusion of this grand finals and uh, going to see who is going to be taking home the League of Legends uh, title. Let's have a look at this game number three, Cadmium Beast and Rampage Wolf. Over to you for game number three. <laughs> Welcome to game number three of the grand finals. I'm Shakir Sajahan alongside with Zaid Nazreen. Zaid Nazreen. And this is the match that's going to decide who's going to get the title. The gold medal for the uh, Mercantile Esports Championship. Yes, on, on the side of Oral IT, we can see a Nautilus and Tristana bot. Same as last match, and a Darius top, and a stadium mid vein with a uh, Nocturne jungle. On the side of this collapse, we can see the same uh, Morgana and Caitlyn on the bot, and Udia jungle with the uh, top lane Yorick and a bot. But there's a okay, there's a Varus mid. AP Varus, a very. Yes, it depends. It depends if uh, if jungler manages to gank well, the Varus doesn't have any escapes on his kit. As we saw from the game uh, semi-final Z, Cisco Labs played uh, is uh, in the game too. Blade Master played uh, Warus mid, which was a very success with the damage he was able to output. Yes, too. But if Oralite learns from their mistake, they can easily gank the wearers and not make him awful enough to like OP enough that game. What do you think about that? Yeah, it's true. It's not, it won't be hard, but uh, this game is a bit towards the, I would say this game hey, is towards yeah, this collapse a bit. No, but somehow Tristana saw, saw him coming. I think it's the sudden pushing from um, Morgana and Caitlyn showed this time that someone's coming from back to yes, uh, This can... game is going very fun. This will be a good game for Varus because he's like, up against a powerful mage, tank mage. Mm -hmm. But I think once Varus is level 5 or 6, it's going to be easy for him and poke him poke Vayne enough to go back. It will be very good for Varus because he could just uh, ult and step away from the uh, ult of Spain. So like, he will be standing so the damage won't be, uh, his cooldown will finish soon. Unless he gets pulled back. Yep. And the E goes by from Yorick. And a nice pull from Darius and it is a 3 stack. And he's a 4th stack? No, he's a minions. Yorick manages to trap. Darius inside his uh, cage with his minions. Nocturne is waiting for Doctor to take the red buff. With... Just went in with his Q and and caught up. Is Tristana gonna stick with Tristana the goes for Caitlyn, Caitlyn but Caitlyn... Um, Tristana is almost up. And it was a good trade-off from the bot almost, lane. Almost, Tristana got two kills there. If Tristana got two kills there, it would be really hard for Morgana. 
Even Tristana was going to go down. Uh, nice poke from Varus. And Nocturne is walking towards uh, Varus. And Yudir is also coming to assist Varus. is gonna be a fight uh, in the middle lane. And uh, Ghost is propped by Swain. And a nice flash to dodge the Q. And Swain the gets caught from Mudder. But Tristana he is here for take the first blood. And Yudir is caught up. And double kill. Two kills for Orlighty. Sudden, sudden engage from the bot lane managed to give them two kills there. If the bot lane wasn't there, it will be a gay, another thing. It was a good flash engage from Yudir. Then uh, uh, Yudir tried, then uh, Swain countered that with another flash. It was a nice uh, rotation from Orlighty. Reading the map well, it was a uh, uh, Nocturne came from behind of ours and the bot lane also committing towards the top side after wave is pushed. Yeah, and he doesn't even lose any waves, also. Nocturne is waiting in the wings to go for Varus. Varus is pushed a bit, yes, and the cube lands. I think it's enough but to kill Varus, Varus is down. A nice thumbs up from Varus early on the fight and he's running away. He's and immune, oh. Yudir. The Q connects, but Yudir was CC immune. Cage is set up. Okay, Cage White. Is set up. And... Okay, Darius manages to flash away. Goes nice away, skill but from Sayon. Nice skill from Yorick. I think Yorick, Yorick can easily now take a plate. So then, so uh, top lane loses for for uh, one kill. Yorick claims a kill for the retreat, and as a Vistana chunks out, they takes a dragon, which is worth. Or like to even they could do anything from top side. They tried something from bot side. I think they, I think Drake is more valuable than taking that one kill because uh, you know uh, taking a Drake gives the whole team a small. I stack onto the warden. Like the warden's going down. Killing warden is like getting a lot of stuff off your shoulders. Warden is the main damage of Yorick, then he's uh, E and Q. If you kill the Warden, you can easily kill him. And... And then... Nocturne's comes in late. And it's a double kill for the Nocturne. Nice Nocturne is good. from Nocturne and he manages to take two kills there. Did you notice both team ADCs were fighting on point blank range? Yeah, it was not ADC, it was like 2 8 uh, attack. It was to the uh, uh, fighters are fighting at each other. Yeah. Okay, so Varus just got pulled in. And you was the... good decision from Swain back on. If we did not, it will be a kill for to collab. Started plating onto the side of Orlighty. And a TP. Is propped by Varus. Was a close one. The pull goes wide. Morgana clears out the control ward in the bush, and uh, Udur is walking towards the rift hull. Even Nocturne is on the side. Udur starts the rift. And it's warded, okay. heavy wood warded that. Going in. Okay, quick uh, to see a jungler 1v1. And uh, Swain slows you there, and the movement speed is Udia already is used. Udia, Udia manages to stun, but uh, Nocturne just took the kill with his Q. Kristana is caught up under a turret alone, but no minion wave to work with it. 
It was one shot. If if Caitlyn managed to take one shot, Zara's face would be there. Control ward fight. Vareth is also there. I think they saw Vareth. Uh, they could have not. But it's safe to play under turret. It's really annoying. Like if if Lee makes uh, Yorick throw a small minions like his PC abilities, kill them, it will be easier. Otherwise, we have to uh, like basically get them to kill them. Um. Both the uh, uh, junglers are towards the mid side. Wu Kong and uh, sorry, Yudhir and Nocturn. Pull misses, pull goes wide, and even the X, X wing also misses. Yorick just missed the cannon. Nocturne is oh. on the uh, radar of Yorick. Sorry, Yorick is in the radar of uh, Nocturne, so it's good if he plays behind. He's too aggressive. Yorick is recalling. Caitlyn is farming on bot lane. I don't think that the. Uh, I think that's a good decision to make at this point. The dragon is up in 44 seconds. The first dragon was gone to Oralite. Yes, and this is what we call the calm before the storm. 30 seconds we can expect to see a storm. Yeah, it's a huge dragon, so uh, Ocean Rig is huge in the, this time of the game. So, it's. user is already there to start the dragon. Yorick is recalling he could TP bot or he can walk bot and TP top if he started his threat. Nocturne also in the area. So Tristana is pushing the wave into a turret. Is mid lane gonna engage on this Drake fight or are they gonna just. The dragon is started and is warded. The, the dra dragon is war heavily warded on the side of our light team. and Nocturne just started the trading. I think it's a good idea to uh, give up this uh, dragon because uh, Cisco Labs don't know where is dead was. Is it going top to stop or he's in the bot side? So it's a good idea of backing off in this dragon. Warlighty just secured, managed to secure the second break and almost caught the where flash is off. It flash off. Various props the and a five stack is up. Is it gonna be enough to kill him off? And just leave him, he's dead, he's dead. Nice five stack from Darius. Boris is also doing a good amount of damage for Swain. Darius can take three or two turret plates at this point. Range, uh, but eight mid laners are good. And AP Varus is very prominent pick for a mid lane. Than an ADC. Personally, I have a, like, a question to ask from you. Do you like the plate update for the turret? It was a nice fight. The plating? Yeah. I like, do you know yeah. the old turret have any plate? It's it just good. Yeah. Health. But the plating, uh, it helps the game to go uh, be a bit late. Like, you won't see uh, taking five plates easily unless you lose the lane very hard. True. And it gives bonus uh, damage for how much you push or people just keep the lane in one place and just stay. Because of plating they push the wave and try to claim the 160 gold per plating. Okay. Yorick. Okay, and Aura like he manages to pick 8 kills and he collapsed with 1 kill and almost a full 2k lead. 
Nocturne just went in. Is it enough to kill Varus off? Varus? Varus to defend just to kill the kill. Yorick could use his warden. Warden is up in some time. If Yorick had his warden there, it will be a, it will be a kill for him. Another route from playing. The rift, uh, the rift will be up in 40 seconds. A lane push for Yorick means it will open up the jungle for uh, Yudir. The threat rate all will also increase for the side of Polity. Warden is up for Yorick. All the ultimates are up for the teams of Cyco Labs and all the ultimates of the teams of Orlight is up. And Swain yeah, is but... in top side. The Swain Warden is summoned. Wilton. He holds up for the Warden. Varus is running towards top side. The Warden is summoned from the side. Yorick. Yorick is out of Yorick. mana. Yes. But Varus is coming. He could ult and Q both of them. Well, he uses his E. And Nocturne ults. And it's a one for one. Nocturne takes a double kill. No, it's gifted towards a Swain. Oh, yes, in the hole. Oh, flash by Nautilus to save his ADC. But Morgana flashes in and takes the kills. And it's the not. The support kill is donated to Caitlyn. The Drake is up in 35 seconds and... The Rift is started by Nocturne. He's doing the Rift. Or a Lighty, or a Lighty. Rift is secured by uh, Crunchyroll. Could just uh, Rift mid then come to Dragon now. Nocturne recalls and comes towards bot side from bot side to dragon. User is spotting towards top side, which is very awkward. Nocturne. The ult Where goes wide from Valus. And Yuther is also down. dead. Cisco Labs in a demanding 5k 4k lead from Cisco Labs and a mid turret would go down and this raid. More like the just binding connects. Oh. oh, it was a close one. Nautilus manages to hook Caitlyn in and enough to kill. The tower Caitlyn helps Caitlyn, Caitlyn, Caitlyn to kill. And Nautilus Caitlyn is down. Nocturne, Nocturne goes under turret. And not a, Nocturne saves his uh, life and comes out of the dragon. Nocturne manages to go in and still stay alive. He tanked almost four turret shots and is it enough to kill? Not sure. It's too much. He's going too much in. But top in the top side, Yorick takes down the turret for Cisco Labs. And from the bot side, Tristan is, is pushing in for the second tier. So it's like a one for one trade from mid top and bot. But Oralite is in a lead with the two kills they got in the mid lane. Radius is drained out by the water. They are setting up for the dragon, which is in three minutes, so no fights to be expected in the current 
next half an hour. No, sorry, the next two, three minutes. Do you remember there was a Drake? Like, oh, I forget his name. It's a cameo Drake or something? Chemtech. Chemtech, Chemtech. No, no, not the Chemtech. Is it Chemtech? The one that makes you, like, uh, the Trindamir's thing? I, I don't know. Undead. Chemtech. Chemtech, right? Well, why do you. Uh, what do you think about that Drake, bro? So in the current patch, the Chemtech Drake is there. Okay. So that dragon, when your life is lower than 50%, hmm? it gives you bonus damage and health tree, uh, health, uh, health tree get, which is a bit OP, but compared to the changes they did in the past, um, it's manageably good change. And uh, all so I see is all all to the dragon, Baron. All I did sneaks out a Baron under the nose of Sis Collapse. All I did pushing on from mid only Morgana is there to save the turret. I think it's a confirmed turret for side of all I see. And the rift is also spawned with the dragon buff. This is gonna be bad for the side of all I team. It's a one, That's two for one trade for Darius. Darius is caught up in the fight stack, but he won't be able to answer it. Yorick pushing towards stop and Nocturne is there. Nocturne stills around. He's on his way. Tristan is also on the way. It's a good as long. Yorick caught up. Yorick caught up, but other saves his uh, saves up and goes recalled. That was a nice combo. He uh, Swain puts his uh, pool, which is this W, to the bush that they are recalling and cancel up uh, recall Yorick's and recall and, and vision to uh, not sure to alt. It was a nice play. Swain, Swain, Swain. And this will. Do you know fun fact? Uh, do you know that Wayne's W stacks up and gives uh, him bonus health? Yeah. As lo how much damage it deals for the enemies, it will heal him up too. So there's a 7k lead for the side of all IT. A yeah, flash Wayne binding which connects, kind of but Kristana manages to alter away. The both the ADCs are coming towards him, but Swain comes from behind. Pikaboo, I'm behind you. And four down. Will it be the end? Yorick is sticking. And uh, Yorick is dead. Triple kill. And it's a quadra kill for Nocturne. And it's an ace for the side of uh, Spartans. Well played from the side of Oral IT. They're pushing from both sides with the turret. And that's a Tristana, which means the turret will go very fast. Morgana and uh, I don't think they Kaitlyn can is up. I think they will back off, but Tristana is risking it. Kaitlyn is down. And the win goes to Oral Light -E. The gold medal winners are Oral IT and silver medal it goes to Cisco Labs in this Mercantile Esports Championship 2022 and signing off is Zaid Nazreen with Shakir Lama Sajahan. So there you have it guys, what a comeback from Oral IT after losing game number one to come back and claim the last two games. They are your victors in the League of Legends Grand Final. They will take home the title and that gold medal uh, for Oral IT. And what a performance from them, what a comeback and what a composure from this uh, squad, uh, the squad Spartans from Oral IT to be able to claim the title.
Uh, it was an interesting uh, grand finals. It went the distance. So massive shout out to both teams and very well played to Cisco Labs as well for giving us a very entertaining League of Legends uh, grand finals. Uh, but with that, we do come to an end of the stream. A massive shout out to you guys for joining in for the stream. Make sure to check out the SLC Mobile Fiber Line if you all have not already. A huge shout out to the production team as well as the two casters, Cadmium Beast and Rampage Wolf. But until I do see you all again next time, it's going to be me, Ter, signing off. Have a great time, guys. Mercantile Esports Championship, powered by SLT Mobitel. It's time to impress your boss and show off your gaming skills. Sri Lanka's largest mercantile level esports event is back. 